This is James Robertson of Syncom Systems. This morning I'm going to demonstrate how the debugger in Syncom Smalltalk actually works with you when you're doing test-driven development, as opposed to what some people seem to think. Some people seem to think that it works counter to your interests. So along those lines, let's go ahead and create a new package. And in our package, we'll create a new class. And we're going to put this class in the test case package framework so there we go let's go ahead and create that and we'll add a new method we'll call this in the testing protocol and we'll call the method test cubed now the method here is not that exciting a method that's not really the point We're writing a simple test for the purpose of determining whether the debugger gets in your way when you're doing TDD or whether it helps you. So here I've written my test. The cube method doesn't exist, so my test fails. We'll hit debug to figure out why. And what the debugger tells me is that the cubed method doesn't exist. Well, that's obvious enough. But here's where the debugger really helps you. You notice right down here there's this define method option. So staying in the flow of test development, I can write my code right here in the debugger without having to leave the flow of what I'm doing. So I've accepted that method. I now run it, run the test again, and it all works. So you see in Smalltalk, the debugger doesn't get in your way when you're doing TDD. It allows your amp to go all the way up to 11 instead of stopping at 10.